Hey, what's up? It's Dan Liu. In this video, I want to share with you how to add a gradient to your buttons inside of ClickFunnels. So when you create a button inside of ClickFunnels, you traditionally get a single color. And as you can see, um, this is just my homepage here, uh, what that single color looks like. So when you add a gradient, it really makes the button pop out a little bit more. So to do that, what you can do is go into your settings of whatever funnel page you're working on, go to custom CCS, and I'm going to paste in uh, the code here for changing the buttons. So you'll see that it changed from blue to this kind of orange color. So really quick to show you what that looks like. Um, and that basically changes every button on that uh, page. So what I did was I pasted in a code with dot L button and then a bracket here. And this piece of code I got from a website called um, gradient.shapefactory.co. So you can grab gradients and there are CSS codes either from this site or another one is uigradients.com. But basically, once you go to the site, you'll be given a ton of different options to choose from. So if you want to choose something a little bit more specific, let's say you want it to be green or have green in it, it will filter out the options for you. And if you find one you like, uh, let's say for example, you like this one, you can also change the angle of the gradient as well. So I typically like to do it at 135. So it tends to go from darker to lighter in the bottom corner. But of course you can uh, make it a horizontal gradient as well. So let's just say we go at 90. So it just goes from left to right. Um, and let's just say you're happy with what this looks like. So you simply hit copy CSS, go over here, and then you want to delete this and then we're just going to hit control V to paste that in. Now when it comes to CSS, you want to make sure that you have this opening bracket, you have your line of code, you have this semicolon, and then you have a closing bracket here. So you can see if I deleted that, it affects the rest of uh, the code here. So you want to make sure that you close off this piece of code, all right? So that each one is basically its individual uh, code that affects a certain part of the page. So to see what it looks like, you can see the button has changed. And again, you're basically adding in a general um, piece of code that applies to every single button on the page. So you see this one's changed as well, and it automatically overrides that blue shape uh, that I had before. So if you go into the element itself, You'll see the background color was this blue, but adding that piece of code automatically um, overrided it. All right, so that's just a quick way to add a little bit more of a pop to your, uh, to your funnels and your pages, and that way it really draws the eyes to the button that you want people to click on, right? Because ultimately, when people are coming through your funnels or your web pages, you want them to take a certain action. So you're really highlighting that button and making it stand out so that it really increases the chances that they actually click on the button and take the next step uh, through your funnel. All right, so I hope that video helps. In the next video, I'll share how to add in some box shadows to your buttons to make them pop even more.